the 90s. Back then, basically smaller meant better for uh, electronic devices, and this phone you're seeing here is, uh, I would say, at the tip of this development. So uh, I bought this actually in uh, the year 2000, and uh, back then it was a rather advanced device, so you could do HTML browsing, um, you had POP3 email client on there, and uh, everything in a very compact uh, package and uh, with a rather big screen for the time back then. So it was a rather nice unit and actually I used it for um, around 10 years as my main device. After that, of course, I switched to a smartphone and these all look the same and are boring as hell. So yeah, I kind of uh, missed uh, a bit the times when I, I used this phone. And uh, yeah, it turns out a couple of days ago, my smartphone broke down and, uh, but luckily I had a project still uh, running and I sped that up a bit and I started using this phone again. To be honest, not exactly this one here, but this one. And as you can tell uh, by the color of the screen, it's not exactly the same as the original. Let me just put this here away. Uh, another sign is, of course, uh, it has USB-C connector. So what is this actually? So well, let's have a look. So as you can see, this looks just like the normal Android device. And actually it is. So we have here Chrome. We can start a Chrome browser and yeah, just surf through, through the net which is quite nice. Um, we have here a touch screen controls for home button. This was just the home button I pressed. Uh, we of course has, have also YouTube here. Uh, nope. And uh, let me just play Hi, here a video. Hi, another episode of last time I told you. Let's see how well you can entertain yeah. yourselves with your submissions and emails. Works quite fine, I would say. And um, well, let me go back to home screen. Of course, there's also a phone application, so you can put your put in your SIM, SIM card here, place calls, and uh, have mobile data. Wi-Fi, of course, is uh, there as well. And yeah, all in all, it's pretty uh, much working as you would expect it, um, just being a bit smaller than the usual smartphone. And uh, in fact, since my main phone broke down. I used this for a week or now as my main phone and to be honest it's working quite well. So I uh, could place my phone calls, I had all my apps, of course I don't use them that often because it's not that comfortable with the small screen but it works. So now let's open it up to see what is actually inside of here. Like I said, it's a bit rushed because I just needed a working phone and so I rushed uh, this project a bit. And yeah, well, everything's stuck a bit here. Let me just flip that around like so. And as you can see, we have here the main PCB, uh, place for SIM card, uh, place for micro SD card for storage. Um, USB connector, microphone, uh, switch uh, here to control the device, loudspeaker connection, and uh, 4G antenna and Wi-Fi antenna. So everything is basically there and works quite nicely. Um, of course, uh, you may wonder how did I uh, build this? So, of course, I didn't develop the main PCB here. Um, this comes out of a, a Chinese smartwatch. So I bought that for 60 euros. I bought an old phone, uh, uh, original Sony phone, and yeah, uh, put the two together. I cut up at the smartwatch quite a bit and uh, rewired everything, but now it's working. So uh, it's not uh, fully functional. So like I said, I rushed the project a bit. So for example, the keypad here is not working, unfortunately. This might come in a second uh, revision. And uh, the jog dial here also is not fully working, but yeah, so far it works quite 
nicely. So it's an Android 9 device, so you can run most of your applications on there. And actually, even with the small screen size, um, most of them run quite nicely. Um, yeah, you probably will have noticed that my screen cracked. Uh, I tried to uh, unglue or unattach the screen from the original smartwatch body. That obviously was not successful because it's not glued, it's uh, bonded uh, really strongly to the body. So while doing that, my screen cracked. But yeah, I have already uh, purchased a new smartwatch. It just takes, I don't know, months or so to arrive here from China. Yeah, so that's my fun little project. And yeah, I can only recommend to modify your phones uh, in a similar way. The smartwatches actually work quite nice. If you install some helper apps, like for example here, the, um, the control app, uh, a soft control app, but then you can actually use this quite well. All right, then thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.